Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a Primark haul. I'm very excited to be bringing you the first Primark haul of 2024. I've got some nice spring colours coming in this one. I know it's, we're not quite there yet, but I'm dreaming of spring because is anyone else sick of the dark mornings? Because I know I am. So yeah, if you're interested to see what I've picked up, then just continue to watch. <laughs> So hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet. I do new videos on this channel every week. I do a bit of everything. I do lifestyle, fashion, hauls, you name it, I do it. I Basically, this channel is a bit of me and if you want to follow along with my life, I'd love for you to click the little subscribe button down there in red somewhere. It's completely free and entirely up to you. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I'm up uploading next. Again, it's completely free. It's just lets you know when I'm uploading a video. So that's that. Now, before I start, I am gonna add, sorry, I'm gonna say that my hair is heatless curls because I know that I always get questions about when my hair's different and obviously it's short now and I just uploaded an Instagram story and I've been inundated with messages about my hair. They are heatless curls. I am going to show you exactly how I do those. So that will be coming in another video. And yes, I'm also in my pajamas because I'm doing a haul. So I thought I might as well, <clears throat> I might as well just, <clears throat> I thought I might as well just stay in my pajamas because I'm going to be trying everything on anyway. So not a massive haul today. I think around about £150 worth of stuff. Um, really, really excited to show you though. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with accessories. First of all, I picked up this bag. This bag I've wanted for ages. I was going to get it in black. And then when I went in, I saw the cream one. And this was actually reduced as well. So it was £12. It's down to £6. I love this bag. I think it's so beautiful. It's so versatile. It's like an over the shoulder bag. Um, it's not obviously real leather, but it's very, very supple and soft. Um, I love the gold hardware on it. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I think it will go with so, so much. I love how it fits on the hip. Um, so yes, this was a big thumbs up from me. Like I say, they do have it in black, but the black is still £12. Um, but for this, for £6, I think it's an absolute snip. Got a couple of bits in the sale, which I will show you. So the first thing, I'm just trying to put this back on the hanger actually, because I've tried some of these on. Now, I know a few, when I show you this, a few people will be like, why on earth would you want a glittery bra? But I actually saw these when they were full price and thought they were quite nice and I'll show you them. It was this two pack of wireless bras. They were down in the sale from £12 to £6. I love these. They've got like this gold colour one on the front. It's like a ribbed glitter, but it's got a V-neck. They're padded, but they're wireless. And then they've got this band around the bottom. And then this other colour is like this khaki colour. Um, I've tried this one on. I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna show you me trying these on, right, guys, because they are they fit incredible. They are so so nice, so comfy. And you know what? They actually would look lovely under a blazer. Like, hear me out, but I think this khaki one with some jeans and a blazer actually looks really nice and when I tried it on Matt was like you could even wear that to the gym like I don't think I would but they're quite you know they, they cover you up quite a bit they're lovely so supportive for a wireless bra um yeah I bought them in a medium and this was a two pack reduced from 12 pounds to six next thing in the sale that I got was a completer to fail it is going back <laughs> and it is this gorgeous Bridgerton um just gorgeous corset from I've got an itchy nose Oh, it's this gorgeous corset from the Bridgerton range. Right now, this I nearly bought last year. So when I saw it there, loads of them as well. Like you could hardly get your hands on this last year. But I saw it, it was in the sale reduced from £12 to 6 So grabbed it, put it in my bag, picked up a medium because I'm not being funny, but that looks tiny for a medium, 12 14 Was right to do so. It just, just fits. But... It is a Primark corset. It is nowhere near like a corset that you would get from like somewhere like Anne Summers or somewhere where specialises in corsets because 
the fit isn't there like it's really gapy at the top it's not tight enough on the waist but i also feel like i can't breathe because the bust section's so tight um and then it's just it's just not very nice like fitted wise but i did think if if you do like this i'm thinking this with some beautiful jeans and some strappy sandals in the springtime with like a blazer over the top and because of all the beautiful colors in there you could put like a pink blazer on or a sage green blazer or a cream or even like this lilac -y color i just think that this this would be a really nice um daytime outfit for like brunch this jeans stroppy sandals and a pop of color on your blazer i think that's a really nice idea just not for me but i got this in a medium six pounds okay so this is beautiful and i just thought i'd do a side note on this one because a lot of people might see this and think oh that's really nice like what you want about can we see there's, there's no I wouldn't say there's no support because it's boned but like here it just goes straight up and if I pull it down to fit then it looks like I might fall out but then it's really really tight across like this area loose here like quite loose here not loose but there's room here not down here it's just really just doesn't fit my shape but it is a beautiful corset so if you are a different shape than me this is just like six pounds in the sale and i do think it is really beautiful i don't know it just doesn't look right to me maybe it's just me i don't know what do you think let me know i'm gonna take it back so yeah let me know up in the sale i picked up this top i actually have this in pink and i saw it in red and i was like i need it for valentine's day i thought again this with like some really nice black trousers and maybe a black blazer over the top just something really nice elegant elegant and simple and sexy for valentine's day love again the little bit of gold hardware on this that is a bit frayed there but you can cut that off i'm sure and um, but this was reduced from nine pounds down to five and i got it in a and i got it in a 10 love how this looks just really simple really elegant just perfect i think for like valentine's day but all year round as well because it's just nice and simple um yeah loved that for five pounds they also had this in different colors as well i believe and um, but i loved the red so yeah pick that up okay, next up in the sale i bought some of these jumpers i actually have this rib jumper in cream and i've had it I'd say I've probably had it about three, four years now. It has worn and washed really, really well. But I love it so much because it's just, it's warm. But because it hasn't got a full polo neck, it's comfortable. It's just got like this half neck, like a turtle neck. So it, I've had this conversation so many times on this channel. It's got this neck anyway, um, which I love. But these are like a ribbed material as you can see on camera these were reduced not much but they were down from um, eight pounds to six so i picked them up in a few colors i did get this one in a medium i wish i'd have got the others in a medium because i do feel like these come up a little bit small so this is a 12 to 14 but i also i've got the others in a small and i do feel like they run a little bit tight um, but still fine because they are a fitted jumper but i love these for layering so so much um I did buy another couple of basics, but I think I'm going to take them back because for this time of year, I think this is perfect. Just this, any type of trousers. I wear them with joggers. I wear them with jeans. Um, you could wear it with skirt, tights, boots. Just think they're brilliant for like your basics in winter. So yeah, pick that up in a medium. That was reduced to £6. And these are the other colours I bought. So I bought them in a mocha brown, which I really loved. Again, same same ribbed material um six down to six pounds this is in a small i just want to quickly say about these tops so this one is the mocha one this is the brown one now this one is the small the black one i got is a medium the gray one is a small and this one is a small i would suggest trying them on because this one feels as big as the medium but the grey one is a small and it feels way tighter than this one. So I don't know if they're different, slightly different. Um, I was just trying to see like if they feel a bit different. This one definitely does feel a little bit softer than this one. They say they're the same. So I'm not sure. But try them on because this one's a small and this one's a small and they fit completely different. So I'm unsure whether they're a different type of jumper. Just trying to the next different maybe i don't know but yeah <laughs> really weird really strange thought i'd mention it because 
I always like to mention things that are a bit odd with sizing with Primark. And then I also picked up this. Now, I'm not so sure about, I think if you watched my wardrobe declutter the other day, I think it's fair to say that I am 50 shades of nude. Um, I definitely like my neutrals. I feel like they just suit my skin tone a lot more, but I have tried to incorporate a bit of gray into my wardrobe recently, grays and blacks, like a little bit more monochrome. Um, I'm not sure whether they're for me, if I'm honest. I'll probably watch this back and then I'll know more when I see myself in this colour. But I also picked up this grey one. I do really like this like deep grey. Um, again, I got this in the small, should have probably got the medium. You can see, let me just check that you can see this. You can see how small they are. They are like, they do have a lot of stretch in them like a hell of a lot of stretch but I bought this grey one as well because I just thought this would be really really nice with jeans I love this colour but I'm going to do a try on and you tell me what you think whether you think this colour is for me or not I'm still not sold you can tell me hey so if you're a long time follower you've probably already seen this in a haul because I actually bought this in a haul back in probably October November time it is a half zip fleece I bought it in this colour exact same one and I took it back because I have to be really ruthless with my hauls. I have to take back everything unless I absolutely love it. And I wasn't 100% sure on whether I was going to love this. Since I took it back, I haven't been able to get my hands on one. And I've been absolutely gutted because I just feel like I would have worn it so much. So when I saw it back in, I got it. They do this in so many different colours. It is just £7. It is a gorgeous, just thin half zip fleece but I love it because I don't know if you can see on camera it kind of goes in at the waist and out so it's a lovely length and um, a lovely fit um, and then the ends of the sleeves are like I've got like a little bit of an elastication which is nice they do this in so many different colours they do they had like pinks different nudes sage green um yeah pink nude sage green they did have it in black originally but I haven't seen that back but yes I love this I think this is perfect to go under like a gilet I've got a really nice north face white gilet which I thought this would be a really nice base layer it's not the thickest in the world but if you wear like a, a vest top and then this over the top and then a gilet I think it's like really good for this time of year I think layering you can't go wrong so I picked that up in a small seven pounds next up I got some joggers now I've got to take these back and get the extra small. Did I ever think in a, my wildest dreams that I would pick up a small and they would be too big? Um, but yeah, I picked these up in a small. I love this colour um, jogger from Primark. These are just seven pounds. These are my favourite ones in Primark. The ones with the thicker waistband, they've got pockets and they've got the detailed cuff bottom. These, if you're after a jogger, for seven pounds, I feel are some of the best joggers ever um i had them in every single color but i'm trying to slowly now rebuy my joggers because i always used to buy them oversized and now that's biting me in the butt <laughs> literally so um i got them in a small seven pounds but i am going to go back and get the extra small because they do come quite oversized but this is like the gray marl i love this color i just feel like it's just so fresh and clean goes with so much and that it's perfect for any season as well so I think these are a perfect basic to have in your wardrobe. Some nice grey joggers, like grey joggers. So yeah, pick those up, £7 in a small. Okay, so these jogging bottoms are the ones I'm just going to have to swap for the smaller size because they are definitely oversized. This is a small. Um, I've tied them up tight. These are such good quality. Like, I can't recommend these joggers enough. These ones don't bobble as much. Like, they, they do two lots of joggers in Primark. Um, and these ones are the ones that don't bobble as much. The other ones that are a bit cheaper tend to bobble in the like in the inside of the leg on me personally. But these ones with this waistband um, and this kind of material don't bobble at all. Like I love these. Gosh, I actually have bought so much stuff. I didn't realise. Okay, so next up I bought some basics. Um, I will show you what I got. They are, these are just long sleeve v-necks and i've tried all this on um so these are just long sleeve v-necks but i think i'm going to take them back because i'm not 100 percent sold on the fit of them i wanted some really nice like low cut v-necks um just to wear with jeans 
but they're just the V doesn't go low enough it sits really weird and high this one I bought in a small and it's huge like it's so baggy around the midriff I don't know whether this is a different style to these um but yeah I got this in grey they're really reasonably priced they're just four pounds I loved this grey one I loved the deep like the the fabric again it's like a marl kind of finish but this one doesn't fit right at all it's very very big and baggy around the waist and on the arms so that one is going back i did get the black and the white in um extra small so these do fit different i don't know whether they're a different style or whether i don't know that says stretch v what does this say stretch v no they're the same but there's just the the small was way too big and then the extra small i feel like I don't know if it's too small, but I don't know whether it's just the fit of them. I bought this in a white and a black. They were also four pounds, I believe. Yeah, they, these were also four pounds. So this one is the white one, just nice and simple stretch t-shirt with a V-neck. I've got so many of these in like the high neck, but I just wanted some V-neck ones because I saw a, a girl wearing one on, on uh, Instagram the other day and I just thought it looked so pretty. So, and I think it looks nice because I've got a lot of necklaces that I like to wear and so I think would fit nicer with a v-neck so yeah I picked them a grey a white and a black but I think these are going to go back and I'm going to shop around maybe for some bit more maybe maybe I'll go somewhere else I'm not sure I'll see next of all I bought a couple of jumpers now I love this one Matt is not sold and so I'm going to return going to return it but this was 13 pounds and I love the color of this one I love it against my blonde hair really really it's just so soft and snuggly I got it in a small kind of wish I'd have got it in an extra small because it's so oversized that's a small guys but I did love how it's got like these little slits up the side as well and um, that's really beautiful and again it's got that neck that I like like the high neck um, but this one unfortunately is going back because like I say I have to be really picky um, but I did love it so if you're after a beautiful nice pink jumper I thought this would be gorgeous for springtime just to brighten up my wardrobe a little bit so yeah loved that got it in a small 13 pounds right this jumper I love this this is a, this is a keeper I'm keeping this one they also did this in cream right but I just love the style of this it's like a high neck but it's got a zip on it um love the gold hardware love anything with gold hardware on I'm a gold gal um so loved that just loved everything about this jumper I thought it was looked really expensive like I said they did it in cream as well and I'm so so tempted to go back and get the cream but just looking at my wardrobe I can already see three four cream jumpers over there so i have to resist but 12 pounds got it in a small i would say it's true to size um really loved this one just loved the ribbed detail at the top and the rib detail on the sleeves i just really love this i think this will look gorgeous with some jeans and some trainers but also i do think that this would be really nice over gym wear in the summer um like in the over gym wear just like when you want something to throw over because it's like you could almost get away with it looking a bit sporty if you get what i mean so yeah pick that up in a small 13 pounds is it 13 pounds 12 pounds <laughs> couple more bits and then i've got to show you something i got from the girls section right okay so next up i got this in the sale now my sister-in-law if she's washing this is going to be like you're such a copycat <laughs> my sister-in-law came around the other day wearing this coat and i was like i love it where did you have it from she said primark went in it was in the sale snapped it up i got it in a 12 i love this jacket so much let me just tap so you can see so i love this jacket it's just a long kind of it's a wool look but it's not wool obviously because it was reduced but it was reduced from 27 pounds to 18 i mean 18 pounds for a coat like that you cannot go wrong it's lined it's not perfect for the winter unless you're wearing it over like hoodie and stuff but i really wanted a gray jacket just to dress up a few things because i've got um my beige mac that i wear a lot which was actually a vintage one it was my mom's i love that one so much but i really wanted a gray wool like coat um and i love this one so so much i love the color of it um like i say it's lined but i did size up in it i got a 12 because i just thought i want to be able to wear this over like a hoodie so i got it in a 12 just so i've got that extra bit of room i definitely think with anything lined as well like you know when you do this 
you don't want it to feel like the lining is going to tear um so I, they did have a 10 but i sized up to a 12. got it in a 12 18 pounds in the sale love that so much next up i want to show you a couple of bits i got out of the girls section right believe it or not so this one is actually going back because i'm not a fan of how it fits on me which you will see in the video because of the shape however a trick that I said that I mentioned on here not long back was if you like something but they haven't if you're <clears throat> if you're like a small or like a 10 12 go and look at the in the girls section right because things are cheaper in there because I believe somebody told me it's because something to do with tax like you don't pay tax on children's clothes but I always have a mosey now in the girls section just to see what there is because sometimes there's some real gems in there and one of them was this denim like shirt jacket I would say because it's a shirt but it's quite thick it's like proper denim I love the colour on it I love everything about this apart from I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this, but it basically goes out and in. You expect a shirt to kind of like either be straight or go in and out, whereas this is like a vintage shape, like it goes out and down. So I kind of look like a little bit like a weeble in this, I'm not going to lie. However, if you're after a nice denim shirt, £9, guys. Got this in age 13 to 14. It is more than big enough for me. Um, I'm going to try it on with other stuff as well, but genuinely... This has got so much room in it. Um, I would say I'm probably about an 8 to 10 right now. Uh, 8, 10. Um, but you can get up to 14, 15, up to age 14, 15 as well. But look at this. I mean, look at the, the room in that. Got so much room in it. Really love this. It's like just an overshirt. Now I've just tried it back on. I'm a bit unsure whether I'm going to keep it now, actually. I do really like it. I think this is just really nice to just chuck on over the top of things. I think this is perfect for like springtime. So I picked this up. This is age 13 to 14 and it was £9. Right. If you have made it this far, you have made it to the jeans of dreams. So I actually have another pair of these. Hold on. So these jeans I have already from Primark. They are the straight leg high rise. I'm sure they are, it doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure they're straight leg high rise. I love these jeans, I've worn them to death. However, I bought them in a 10, they're now too big. Um, so I went in and I wanted to try and get some jeans in that style and I found this color. Oh. They are like vintage Levi colour. I just really love them so much. Straight leg high rise. So I'll show you the label so you can see it. This is what you're looking for. £16 as well. Like I can't get over that you can get a pair of jeans of this good quality for £16. Now what I will say with Primark, sizing can be so off. Don't go what's on the label. Always try them on. Um, jeans as well like I say I had them in a 10 I probably could do with washing them and see if they'll shrink a little bit but jeans tend to you know give give the you know you get a bit of stretch in them um but these ones I love so basically if you've been watching I'm sure every, I'm sure you have um the series Fool Me Once and Netflix with Michelle Keegan in she kept wearing jeans like these throughout the show and I just kept saying to Matt, I want some jeans like that. I want some jeans like that. They look like Levi 501s. Um, and then I went into Primark and I saw these. They went in my basket straight away. You will see from the clip, I think they make my bum look good. The waist is nice. I really struggle with jeans at the moment because of how like, I've lost the weight. I've still got hips and a bum, but I've lost the weight on my waist. And yeah, I still got... I still got bigger legs so normally I kind of struggle a bit with jeans but I love these so much <sighs> love them I can't can't get over them enough in a size 8 16 pounds straight leg high rise thank me later so guys that is everything I got from Primark I really hope you enjoyed this haul I can't believe how much I got for my money actually I spent um 141 pounds so what was that that was down from oh yeah that's my coat so yeah i spent 141 pounds so genuinely so much stuff for my money like really really impressed but a lot of it is going to go well some of it is going to go back but 
and maybe I'll do like a little keep and return thing on my TikTok because I'm trying to trying to grow my TikTok at the moment. So that's my next port of call. Maybe I'll do some like little TikToks with these on what I keep and what I return. That might be a nice way of doing it. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I have loved to be back doing a Primark haul. Like I say, I'm going to be doing a one in, one out on my wardrobe. So anything I do keep, I'm going to be making sure that something has to come out for something to go in. So that is my New Year's resolution. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.